Hello, I'm John Luca Elijah Cruz Gomez. Um, happy to be part of the class. So, I'm from Fuqua, Virginia, North Carolina. It's just like 30 minutes south of the university, so I just commute from there, which actually makes uh, online classes a bit easier. Traffic's kind of terrible. Um, <clears throat> I found my uh, interest in teaching from being a youth leader when I was about uh, 18 years old. I was part of a youth group, and they were, th and I was told that I could be a youth leader since I was already pretty involved and. In my experience with that, I had to uh, become involved with the younger teens and like kind of have some lesson plans regarding uh, theology or things like that. So I kind of learned that I, at the very least, I was uh, I really enjoyed it. I also like love mentoring people, so that was kind of nice. And uh, currently, I'm assigned to Athens Drive High School. It's not that far from NC State, so it's pretty nice to have a pretty uh, close uh, uh, assignment. And uh, oh yeah, and my uh, my history, my uh, MAT major is social studies. That's what I'm going to be teaching. And uh, my main focus, however, is in history, which is also part of why I decided to get into teaching. Since I kind of realized I liked being youth leader, but at the same time, teaching history was also an interesting thing that I had to do with a lot of uh, Bible stories and stuff. So that always helped me. So uh, currently, I work at a pizza shop. It's on Hillsborough Street. It's like a New York pizza place, so if you ever want to like meet me and get some food, I'm just right there. Uh, <clears throat> I've been around the world actually. Uh, I went on a Cuba study abroad for about a month, and then I visited some of my extended family in Mexico and Hungary for also like about a month each, so that was like really fun to do. I've had Christmas with my family in Mexico and stuff, and they, they have fireworks over there. It's pretty fun. And doing all that has kind of given me a global perspective, or at least helped me get more of that so it's really helped me like understand that with the global world we live in a lot of the students you have to teach are going to come with these kind of different perspectives so we should understand that and uh, <clears throat> for my hobbies I kind of like going out to a karaoke night with my co-workers it's always fun it's it's at a bar in Mission Valley so if you ever want to go to karaoke it's right there and uh, for online learning in my experience it's very easy to forget that you have assignments to, especially since you don't have to go to a physical class. So it's always good like to check every day on what assignments are due and everything. Otherwise, you'll find out that you've either missed an assignment or it's almost due and then you can't really finish it. And not all uh, professors are so merciful and offer extensions. And I guess specifically with online courses, they're not so lenient on that, especially in the graduate school. So always make sure to keep up with assignments. And also make sure to do it like piece by piece so like if we have assignments due in a week do bits of it every day rather than maybe a fourth of it for one day because you'll find yourself pretty exhausted and especially if you have to do work like if you work part-time or full-time somewhere else and you're trying to keep up with this it's pretty difficult and you want to maintain your stamina and not really lose it well I, I enjoy work I'm gonna look forward to working with you all and I hope to see some of you. Have a good day.